Hey, number one show in late night. You know what it is. Miro, who do we have in the building today? Yo, 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 yo. Listen, man. We got your favorite broadcaster's favorite broadcaster, Taylor Rooks in the motherfucking building. Sports journalist of the year, because I said so. Let's go. That's right. We, you know we got it's Taylor more. Rooks, the homie in the building from Bleacher Report. Right. Taylor, that, most important question before we even start. Did you wake up in time for continental yes. breakfast this morning? <laughs> I woke up in time for my coronavirus oh. test, which is very how, important. We how get often tested are you got, every, day? every single day. Are you getting every? Are you getting the day. swab in the cheek or the the, the the hardcore in the nose joint? So we get both. We get the mouth swab and the nasal swab. But I'm so used to it at this point. But it's not that nasal swab that like touches yeah. your brain. You know, it's just like right here. Like someone's uh -huh. picking your nose, and then they do left, right, middle. And then you just hope and pray that when you wake up in the morning, you have an email. Because if you don't have an email, that means you're, you're getting a home. call. Yeah, which is not uh, the move. So, <laughs> what is bubble life like? Like, are you? Is it because you? You know, you're a traveler. Yeah. You're, you're used to hotels. You're used to traveling. How different is it now? And are you yeah. becoming like paranoid? Are you starting to like spot people not wearing masks or like wondering and like, <laughs> is this my cup and all types of weird stuff? Right. No, you know, I think that originally the cool thing was for everybody to be like, oh, the bubble sucks. But now that you're here, it's like I am enjoying it so much. It's like summer camp. And I wake up every single day and I get to watch the greatest basketball players in the world. There's tons of practices you go to every day. There's scrimmages. Soon there will be games. And then very soon after that will be the playoffs. So everyone wears a mask at all times. So it's kind of the safest place that you could be. Like, I'm past feeling fearful of COVID right now because we're all taking the precautions. So as long as we all continue to be safe, wear our mask, get our tests, take our temperature, check our pulse, which we have to do every morning, you know, I think that the sanctity of the bubble will be able to stay intact. Nobody out here wilding, you know what I'm saying? Trying to... Uh, <laughs> You know, yeah, there's the definitely not the a bubble. magic city inside of Disney right? World. So, <laughs> yeah. So, 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 honestly, you've been doing this for a long time. Have you ever seen anything like this? Like, any type, like, even close? No, and that's one of the reasons I was like, sign me up, I'll do it. When they asked me to do it, I, was, I am there. Because there's very few times in life you'll be able to be a part of a first and an only. And so to know that, like, I was a part of this Disney World campus where the NBA did this amazing job of organizing this whole thing in the middle of a pandemic. Like, people are going to write books about this. There's going to be documentaries. Like, I'm going to be That's all right. up in that 30 for 30. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Listen, you, might get a Dis you might get a Disney <laughs> animated film off of this. Like Oh, a thousand percent. It's like I take notes at the end of every day just because I'm like, one day this is going to come in handy. And I want to have these journals and document every single thing that happened because we're just, we're seeing some really right. cool stuff and seeing, like, guys in ways that we haven't. You know, like, we watch the games courtside. We hear everything. We hear LeBron telling people their assignment. We hear players talking shit. We hear them arguing with the refs, like in a way that we never have. So it's what's been the really energy cool. like at the scrimmages and the practice? Is it completely different than how it used to be in the NBA? Is it like more intimate? Because like I saw online, somebody was uh, describing it as almost like college or high school level. Like it was not so much athletes, but yeah. just kind of like a boys playing with their boys playing pickup basketball. So the the best comparison for me was summer league. It feels a lot like summer league. And in all honesty, not having fans isn't as wild as I thought it was going to be. Like, sometimes I forget that it isn't just people playing basketball. Because, like, the guys aren't playing like we're in the middle of a pandemic. They're just playing. The games feel exactly like they do at any time. But it's cool to see, like, the benches get so into it for them to clap and cheer to, like, fill that silence. But... There's music playing. There's definitely things going around as they play basketball. Yeah. So is there any is there any time where you're like, <laughs> where you see where you hear like you said like you're hearing more than you're used to, like is is that, is that yeah. super like are you taking notes about that because because there's a super cut of Melo grabbing yes. rebounds. We all know about the super cut of Melo. Motherfucker, <laughs> give me that shit. Get the fuck out of here. Like how many yeah, give me that shit yes, to get the yes. fuck out of here? Do you hear like in a in a <laughs> every every possession, every possession. It was funny because so we, I can't remember who we were watching the Lakers play. We were watching, like, I want to say maybe it was the map, the scrimmage, but I can't remember. But Braun dunks, he runs down the sideline, 
And he goes, you know, I'm still the fastest man out here. But we were debating, did he say fastest or did he say baddest? And there was this whole debate on media row. So then afterwards, when we saw LeBron, I said, listen, Ron, we were all debating. After that, Doug, did you say fastest or baddest? And he goes, which one do you think I said? I said, well, baddest makes sense in the context, but it sounded like fastest. And he just like smiled and just mysteriously <laughs> walked wow. away. Wow. <laughs> so it is still TBD, but people say that when you watch the TV feed, it is fastest, but it's like, hey, listen, either word works. So I just think he was kind of wanted to leave it up yeah, to yeah, everybody. Yeah, man. LeBron <laughs> out here doing triple entendres. I yeah, gotta exactly. appreciate that. Listen, with the whole thing with Lou, I gotta ask you your opinion. Are Magic City Wings that good? Honestly, they are. <laughs> I'm not saying they're good enough to jeopardize right. the bubble. <laughs> I am not saying that. I think that the number one responsibility of everybody should be to do what you can individually so that collectively the group succeeds. Right. But both things can be true. Right. The wings can also be uh -huh. bomb as shit. Like, they're so good, okay? And I, like, I, I think it's kind of known in general, strip club food tends be to be kind of good, slaps. especially if you're in Atlanta. Like, I'm right. from Georgia, so everyone from Atlanta or Metro Atlanta has been to Magic City. Like, it's yeah. not this, like, scandalous thing. Graduated at, like, at you, Magic you've City. Been like, that's a regular, they got, they got yeah. graduation <laughs> there every summer. <laughs> yeah, and the wings are good. And not just the wings, I mean, they have catfish nuggets. Like, their crinkle fries are good. Like, so I understand, like, he should not, like, it's just a thing that we can't have. It's the optics, but it's also, like, you want to minimize risk and all of these things. Um, but he is not lying and saying that the, ring, the wings are very good. And it's also very true. If you ask anybody that's ever played with Lou, they'll say his favorite city, his favorite that's restaurant. Right. He had the that's interview uh, with Rosalind about a year ago, wait, right off the jump. Yeah. He was just like, yo, I, 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 the wings, I, those are my go-to. So... He loves Magic City. Like, there's Lou Will Wings <laughs> on the menu at Magic yeah. City. Like, it's yeah, his, it's his thing. Know. So, shouldn't have gone, shouldn't have jeopardized everybody, but also, next time you're in Atlanta and the pandemic the passes, Will Wings. go to Magic City. <laughs> get you some Lou <laughs> Will Wings. <laughs> yes, get the, get the lemon pepper wet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, get you gotta get it. some fries on the side. Yeah. <laughs> and you gotta bump so, wait, it up. Yes. You grab your order, yes. you're gonna be like, yo, get the fuck out of here. You gotta box out the dude behind you. Like, yo, give me that shit. I'm saying. <laughs> so how does how does the NBA snitch line work? Is there like a laminated poster all around? Is like dial nine 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 or something? Like how do, how can can you it's call funny. it? It's just like for anybody. Is there a reward? Is Tell Caruso snitching? Is Caruso snitching on LeBron's behalf? You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm like I don't know who is snitching, and I know I don't have the snitch hotline number, but I did ask players. I'm like, where do you get the numbers? Like they gave the number to all players, so they just have it on hand. I wonder if people are still calling. I know there's reports like the first week that the snitch hotline was getting, you know, some calls. I don't know if that the volume of calls is staying mm. the same, but I will say like, I mean, you know, number one rule, you know, like no right. snitch, I'm sure. But I do think that if someone is doing something yeah. egregious, like that could actually hurt, hurt yeah. people in the bubble, it's worth trying to handle that. I mean, first say something to them, but if it continues, it's like, we got a championship we're trying to get to. You know what I mean? But I think a lot of things could be handled by just communicating before you have to call and make it a big thing. All right, so not the NBA snitch line, but have you had to call the front desk on any of your neighbors for being too loud, loud parties? Anyone stuck no. in there with the Pacquiao got the floor smelling like dank? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, we actually got, like, security called on us, us being yeah. media. We were at the pool, and I love games. So I like forced everybody to play heads up. And so we're at the pool playing really loudly. And I guess the surrounding buildings were like, can you go there and tell them to be quiet? So then we had to. Oh, wow. Her. <laughs> I haven't gotten called or I haven't called on anybody, but wow. they have come. Omerta. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. like, A rebel. Wow. Call the silence. <laughs> Gangs wow. of silence like lasagna. Yes. Uh, yes. I can, do you, can, you get, can you get to any of the rides? Like how close to actual... Like, do they close it down and let you guys, let the people in the bubble go on the rides? Or how does that work? No. No. So the players can do things like yeah. golf, fish, um, eat, 
There's some good restaurants. Yeah, fun. So they're working on right now, letting us have a day where okay. we can golf. I'm very excited That's about cool. that to give <laughs> to give us an activity. They also have like media Mondays where we can get our hair done or our nails uh, done. Uh. Um, so they're opening the things up to us, which is very nice. But mainly, like we are doing basketball yeah. so much. I mean, we wake up. There's like three practices you go to, and then you would go to like a scrimmage. So it's fairly nonstop. I'm exhausted by the end of the day, but we are going to have, like, little leisure activities that they're giving us. I was about us. to say, because, like, what's the grooming situation looking like up there? Because it's like, you know, you want to minimize the amount of people in the bubble, who's necessary, who's not necessary. Yeah. I know somebody has to trim James Harden's beard. But, like, other than that, <laughs> yeah. like, what are the shape-ups looking like down there in the bubble? Is it rough? Yeah. Like... Yeah, so shape-ups <laughs> are rough. Everybody, I think, is looking a little rough right. at some point. Um, I know Tobias Harris went and got his haircut. It looks great. I know CJ McCollum was telling me that he got his pedicures and manicures. That's like his routine that he does. So he got he got him done in the bubble. Um, they get it like for free, but they tip right, right. the people. So should. you know it's yes. absolutely worth their while. Yeah, absolutely. So my thing is, right when I saw that we were going to be quarantined, I mean in March, I got braids instantly because I was like, listen. <laughs> I'm not about to do this yeah. do my hair every single day. This is the, this is the first time I have ever gotten braids like oh, wow. this year. And I'm like, why haven't I done this <laughs> earlier? It is the best decision I have ever made in my I mean, life. So I likely do not have to go to the groomer because I got my fake hair in. You know what I'm saying? How much time are you saving every morning by having the braids? If I can't explain it to you. I just, the fact that you can wake up and do nothing. I mean, except lay there. Yeah, 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 yeah. we, see, we see the bubble baby hair. Okay, we see really the great. bubble baby hair. Okay. You, know you know what I'm saying? saying? Like, yeah, with a toothbrush. Yeah, yeah, we were right all, we were all okay. slick. Real it's slick real down. Slick. <laughs> she got the baby toothbrush in there? Like, but yeah. Yes, that's, yes, I got my toothbrush. I got my little go. comb. It's an art. You know what I'm saying? I got I got my do-rag. I was Satin joint, like, yeah. Listen, Boy, you know. Yes, do-rag goes crazy. But so that's all I do every morning. That's like, y'all got satin pillowcases? Nice. Yeah. Oh, you can't see it because it's black and I did what I said at the shop, but it is under nice. my Gotta be prepared. My Gotta be prepared. Have you <laughs> yeah. guys in the bubble, are you uh, able to see what's going on with Major League Baseball? Because like even today they just announced another Yankees game is canceled and like Corona's kind of like running through the MLB. Oh, like, wild. Being inside the bubble and you guys are actually pulling off, has the players spoken about that or is that even come up in conversation? Yeah, so I would assume that today's media cycle, when we go to the practices, that's probably when we'd be talking about it more. Um, I haven't heard people talk specifically about it, but I think that whenever anybody on this Orlando campus hears things about sports and Corona, you tense up a little more. It's like, you don't want that to happen right. here. But at this point, like, I think that the NBA got past the biggest hurdle, which was that initial report saying that there was no positive COVID test for any of the players. Like, that was a very crucial part, and there was zero. So at this point, as long as everybody is tested every day and it's negative, it's I don't really know how it would be breached. It'd only be breached by somebody coming that had right. COVID. So I think we're on a, a good path. I hope that baseball can get there. I don't want any league to be, you know, not able to come back because of this pandemic. But I think it's also very fair in a conversation that needs to be had that maybe some of these sports cannot be played like maybe it's just not worth the risk so i don't know if we're there yet with baseball but i just don't think that we should be afraid to talk about potentially getting there what's your food looking like because we've seen nba players you know like yo what is this yo i got pouches of fruit this ain't kindergarten what is your food looking like so i think the food's good okay like they have this these really good scalloped potatoes. The chicken tenders are fire. Okay. The grilled cheese tomato soup is good. Like, but I'm like mm -hmm. low maintenance. Yeah. As long as it is edible and like has spices and okay. some seasoning, go. I'm Gucci. But I haven't had one thing that I've been like, this is right. bad. Not you one. go. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> where's, the, where's the first place you want to go when this is all said and done? When you're out the bubble, where's the first place you're headed? Oh my God. Magic City. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Get the waves. 
<laughs> no, no. Uh, first place I want to go, it definitely has to do with food, I'm sure. But there's so many spots I'd want to hit. Um, you know, I miss sushi. Sushi is my favorite food. I miss sushi. Might get some takeout from like Mamoya or someplace in New York when I'm back. But I, I miss hey, sushi. Nice. Eat that sushi. <laughs> Give it tempura. Yes. I'm saying. So make sure unhealthy. Yeah, yeah. shrimp tempura. That's Dang. it. Yeah. So I think, I think that's what I would okay. do. It's a good sushi. Thing. Nice, nice. How busy is your day? How like how busy is your day? Run us through your day. Like how early do you have to get up and like what time do you finish up? You want to get a full yeah. experience of the bubble life. So it varies. But okay, the first thing I do when I wake up, I actually have it right here because I do it every day. I have to take my temperature. Mm-hmm. I also have to take my pulse. The oximeter, yep. And it's like Bluetooth connected to the NBA Health app, so they monitor what the so you can't even lie. Is, then I go you get can't my. Even be like, oh no, nah, nah. yeah, you lie. Don't be saying ninety eight point six when you feel a little <laughs> hot. Yeah, <laughs> they will know. So, and you can't even leave the room until oh, you wow. do that. So you enter all that in. The app tells you that you're green, and you have these wristbands that um, are the key to your door. But they're also the thing that you have to press if you go into any hmm. building. So you put it up, and if it's green, you can enter. Because green means you are we're negative for COVID, your temp is good, your pulse is good. So you have to wear those bands. So I put my band on, I leave. I'll go to a practice. Like today, I have Bucks practice, Pelicans practice. But some media members are going to go to practices and scrimmages. But today, I'm just doing practices. I think tomorrow, I have Lakers practice, Clippers practice, and then Jazz practice. And then Thursday, actual games are going to begin. So I might have a practice in the morning, but then I'm going to go to a game at night. So it varies, but it's just like different combinations of practices and scrimmages. And And are the guys focused on like right now, right now, this bubble, this championship, this season? Or or is there still talks about like, yo, free, like free agency and like the, the next coming, you know, we don't know when it's coming, but the next coming season and all that type of stuff. Because Tibbs just got hired. It's crazy that you say that. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yes. Maybe you can oh, talk to uh, some guys out there. What, what, one what a great city of New York is. One, you know? one pandemic at a time. <laughs> one pandemic at a time. One crisis <laughs> at a time. Like, we might beat um, COVID. I don't know about the whole Nick situation. <laughs> I'm, listen, I'm just trying to be optimistic here, you, <laughs> no, know? It's like, you know? With silver linings. <laughs> you know, everybody's together talking. It's funny you say that because I was just having this conversation. It's like, usually right now, we're talking about mm-hmm. draft and like next season and who's going where. I haven't heard one person say one thing about anything other than what's happening. And right. Lamelo Ball is in this draft. Everything you is just saying? frozen yeah. right now. And you know how much media loves yeah. the Ball Brothers. I ain't heard Lamelo's name now, in once. years. <laughs> 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 Nick's got a shot now. They didn't even talk about him. Nick's got a shot. <laughs> no, yeah, Listen. it's crazy. So I'm like, it's it really is just this new. Mm-hmm. world of like basketball right now and probably sports in general but it's definitely in taking some getting used to like all the things that would have been happening this summer that mm-hmm. aren't and like sometimes it's crazy to me how we've adjusted yeah. Yeah, yeah you know what i mean like a lot of this stuff is so incredibly abnormal but we're just going through questions? days i don't want to say yeah. like normal but just like I'm the flow so Listen, casual. We're, we're literally interviewing you wearing shorts. Like life is weird right now. Yeah, exactly. we're, we're just we're just out here. Thigh, yeah. thigh game, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Joe. <laughs> I have on sweat. Uh, you can't there you go. Casual life, you know the vibes. Casual Yo, life. Taylor, thank you for taking time out your busy schedule to talk to us. Stay safe in the bubble. Keep you in good. When you get out, we're all really? gonna meet up and get some wings at Yo. Magic City. You know the keep, vibes. Keep, you know what I'm saying? Keep writing that diary though. I want to hit that that, that memoir is gonna <laughs> slap. For real. I got Listen, you. We have nothing but illustrious guests on this show. As an illustrious guest, you get a neon sign. What would you like your neon sign to say? I want my neon sign to say, listen to black women. There you go. go. A banger. Wow. Give it up for Taylor Brooks. Taylor Brooks, In the y'all. bubble. <laughs> Eating good. She Brooks, scalloped y'all. potatoes, Taylor. y'all. Yeah. <laughs> And chicken tenders. Yeah. But the season joints. You don't even and need she, sauce. And she making mad noise by the pool. Do what you want, Taylor. <laughs>